An Albuquerque woman just wants to be able to walk to her community center safely, but she says the city isn't letting that happen. News 13's Brittany Bade shows you the problem. Jess Rose Lilliquist has been fighting a battle her entire life, so she doesn't want to take on the city too. But she says they're ignoring her and letting a potentially dangerous situation continue. Walking is difficult for Rose Lilliquist. I feel good, a lot better than yesterday. It always has been. She was diagnosed with cerebral palsy at age two. It's, I have to accept it. There's nothing I can do, so I just go on. But on days she can, she does it gladly. So she can get to the Monzano Mesa Multi Generational Center right across the street. I've always wanted to learn how to line dance. And when I found out they had it here for a $2 donation, I said, okay, that's where I'm going. The problem is, the road to get there is rough. The curb is ground level outside Lilliquist's apartment, making it easy for her to get off the sidewalk. But there are no ground level curbs across the street, forcing her to walk in the road until the curb dips about 300 feet away. I just tell God, watch over me, protect me, and make sure I get across safely. Lilliquist wants a ground level curb right across the street. And her cousin has been asking the city for one since last summer. Walking's good for her, but it's not good to walk on the street, I don't think. She just got a response today. Thank you for submitting this request. It has been resolved. Although, I'm not sure what that means. Development spokesperson Mark Motzko says it means. We're going to look and see if there's anything that we could do in the short term uh, and then as a longer term solution. Motzko doesn't have a timeline, but says they'll work to expedite the process. Knowing she'll one day be able to get to her classes safely is music to Lilliquist's ears. I love to dance. Lilliquist says a lot of other seniors that use walkers or are in wheelchairs have the same problems. Jess. All right, thank you, Brittany. We did reach out to the community center to see if they could help. We did not hear back.